Hey, I'm Peter Tillis with Princeton College Consulting, and today I want to give you a few key tips on how to get letters of recommendation that stand out. Uh, the first thing to know is that there are three different kinds of recommenders that you're going to need to think about. You're going to have your college counselor or guidance counselor at your high school. You're going to have two or three teachers that you should be asking from your 11th grade classes. And there are also other recommenders. People like athletic coaches, music coaches, art, you know, supervisor on a job. So you've got these three kinds of recommenders. Where your teacher recommendations are concerned, it's really important to build relationships with your teachers and your guidance counselor, both in and out of the classroom. The other thing to know is, is that when it comes time for them to write your recommendations, they're going to be evaluating you on up to 16 different dimensions. Learning what those are and understanding how to implement those in the classroom can only serve you well in the letter of recommendation process. And lastly, in the spring of your junior year, maybe into the summer, you're gonna have an opportunity to write a brag sheet for each of your teachers and possibly your guidance counselor. Take the time to really craft responses to all of the questions in the brag sheet that are gonna to help to describe who you are, what you believe in, what your attitudes are, what your values are, because this is how you are gonna give your guidance counselor and your teachers the ammunition with which to bring you to life when they write your letters of recommendation that are gonna be submitted to schools.